Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lindsay Tries It, where I, Lindsay, have set out on an adventure to push myself out of my comfort zone and try new things. Today I'm going to try and learn a, a little bit of French, or maybe, as you would say, um, un um, petit français. That right there should tell you what my level of French is currently at. At this point in my life, the only language I can speak is English. Oh wait, I know two languages. English at sarcasm. <laughs> but seriously, the only language I can speak is English. And I've always been very envious of people who can speak two languages, three languages, and more. I think it's such a cool trait, it's such a cool ability to have to be able to communicate with various people at different parts in the world. And I find it just really interesting. And for all of you out there who are bilingual or trilingual, etc., it has been proven that people who know more than one language are typically individuals who are better at problem solving, individuals who have a better attention span. Typically these people also have a great memory and an incredible ability to multitask. Now, of course, that doesn't necessarily speak for everyone, but typically learning another language is incredibly good for the brain. It is, you know, feeding that brain. They always say, oh, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. First of all, I'd say, don't call me an old dog. But second of all, I would say, <laughs> but really, I, I totally agree. I think it, it probably is easier to pick up a language when you're younger and those around you are speaking it constantly and it's just part of your lifestyle. It's not impossible to learn another language as you get older. So today I'm going to venture back into some French. Here in Canada, in elementary school, so I went to an elementary school that starts from kindergarten and goes to grade eight. And I believe, it might have changed since I've been in school, but I believe, I think it was grade two that I started French and you do it throughout your elementary school. And then when you reach high school, grade nine, you need to have at least one French credit. Typically everyone has to take French in grade nine. And then it's your choice if you wanna pursue it later on. So if you wanna do it in grade 10, 11, 12, you can, or you can be like myself, and scrape by grade nine and say, I am done, I am done. I always found French difficult to learn um, because I just find that there's, there's feminine and masculine words and um, based off how you say things, different words change. I just have always been very confused by it and I'm sure if I really put some effort into it and some time and energy, um, it would come more naturally. But here I am today, I'm gonna try and get back into it spruce up a little bit of my French vocabulary and hopefully retain some of it and be able to use it when I go and visit my friend in Quebec. Now, here in Canada, we have the province of Quebec that is completely uh, French speaking. And of course, you're gonna have individuals who don't just speak French. A lot of individuals may speak French and English or um, another language, but primarily um, Quebec is a French Province. Here in Ontario, we it's an English speaking province, but I believe rules based off of government require you to have both languages listed on any packaging. This Sephora face mask, you'll notice has both English and French on it. And that is something that you'll find on many of the products, most of the products here in Ontario. Now, there is one province in Canada that is officially bilingual. Does anyone know what it is? If you said New Brunswick, you are correct. So we do have one official bilingual province and that is New Brunswick. So without further ado, let's jump into French. So first of all, I thought I'd dazzle you all with the French I already know. The French I know is quite limited and I think I can understand it better than I can speak it and certainly write it. Like I said, it's very difficult. It was always very difficult for me to pick up French and, and when we would do like writing tasks, etc. But I'm hoping to maybe pick up some conversational French because I don't want to write any French. I want to just be able to talk, understand, I don't know, understand if someone's like shit talking me, just joking, understand what people around me are trying to say when I'm in a place that speaks another language. And I've always heard the best way to learn a language is one, practicing daily. I was once told if you want to really get into um, another language, the best thing to do is immerse yourself in that language completely and try and figure it out because of your instinct for survival you will try and be able to understand the language possibly faster i don't know than if you were able to speak your native language as well the extent of my french currently is je m'appelle lindsay mon numéro de téléphone est j'ai 28 ans now also i've always been an auditory 
and visual learner. Growing up and taking French, my French teachers often used songs and different little like rhymes and stuff to help us remember the words. And so those are ingrained in my brain. And so some of the, the French that I know or can uh, recall is based in song form. I mean, I think it's helpful but the problem is now though, when I need to figure out or like isolate one of the words in the song, I have to sing the complete song to be able to pick out what it is. So for example, if you really want to impress your friends, hit them with this. Also, I know the French alphabet. That is also one of the things is I've memorized the tones, so they are probably not correct, um, but I've memorized that as the song in my head from being young. So that's what's ingrained. That is my French thus far. I wanted to look up what's the most important thing to know about French if you're trying to learn it. And I came up with a few lists. So I picked out like counting, we're just gonna go from one to 10, uh, days of the week, and any important questions or phrases that you might wanna know, we're gonna run through a few here. Counting from one to 10, we have un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Days of the week, we have lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, and dimanche. Now you try, let's hear it. Just joking, I'm not some fucking Dora Explorer channel here. Um, so I looked up a few important phrases for, for myself to know, so that way I'm able to communicate a little bit. Now, anytime I've been in a place or had the opportunity to speak French, I definitely shy away from it because I am self-conscious. I think like, oh my gosh, I'm clearly butchering it with my English accent. I feel like I could have a bit of a French accent. Like, I, I feel like I have it in me, but I'm too embarrassed to like really give it a go because then I feel like I'm gonna look silly, but no one here, I might as well just do it. So we're gonna start off with hello, bonjour. Now, if you want to be a little more formal, you could say bonjour, madame, hello, missus, or bonjour, monsieur, monsieur. Monsieur or Mademoiselle. If you were just gonna say hi kind of informally, you could say, salut. <laughs> a really good one to know. Excuse me, uh, you're gonna be, you know, if you're bumping into people, you wanna probably know this one. It's a polite thing to say, excusez-moi, 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 pardon, pardon. Please, which is, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. Thank you, merci. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. If you're stuck, you have no idea what you're trying to do, it could be important to ask someone, hey, do you know how to speak English? In which case you would say, parlez-vous anglais? I don't understand. Je ne comprends pas. I don't understand. I don't understand how to say that. I think this one's always important too, is again, if you're learning the language, like I'm going to try and pick up a little conversational French, it's good to be able to say like, how do you say, you point to something in French and then um, an individual may be able to help you and you can learn a new word for your vocabulary. Comment dit, comment dit on? Label maker en français. Of course, you've probably heard people say oui as yes for French. Now, when I was in Quebec, um, I heard a lot of people say ouais. Now, there's a difference between um, Quebecois French and France French. And I am not the expert on what the differences are, but I did find a video of someone who's from Quebec and I'll link it down below because she's able to maybe explain it better than I am. And she's a French speaker. So I think she definitely knows a little bit more than I do. There is differences between the language. And so I immediately thought like, when I hear people saying wah, I thought they were sort of saying like we, oui, but it's a bit of a slang, but I believe when you say when, it's kind of more of an informal yes, so it's more of like a yeah, I think. To me, it sounds like when. No is no. Always important to learn how to say no in another language. Can you help? And really good one to be able to kind of get a message of urgency across if needed, if you're in a place that's unfamiliar and you don't speak the language. So in French, if you needed to ask, can you help? You would say, pouvez-vous m'aider? 
pouvez-vous m'aider? Let's say you're out at a French club, French bar. You got a big group of friends and you're looking at your watch and you're like, dang, it's, some, it's time for some poutine. I need some poutine. Come on guys, let's go. Allons-y. Allons-y, let's get some poutine. Goodbye. Au revoir, au revoir. So I'm gonna try and put together a little sentence. Again, I know there's a lot of rules and I definitely um, don't know them. So let's just try and piece this together. Bonjour, madame. Parlez-vous anglais? Je ne comprends pas français. Où sont les toilettes? Now, when I was learning French in school, I'm pretty sure we used to say puis-je aller à la toilette? Can anyone who's French speaking explain that to me? Is that just like a formal way of asking? Can I go to the washroom? We used to have to say it when we were in class and stuff like, puis-je aller à la toilette? Um, so I don't know if that must be different. But anyway, what I was trying to say is, hello, madame, I do not understand French. Where are the washrooms? <laughs> oh gosh. I have been using this little list that I found online that I will also link below if you want to take a look. Um, basically it has the English, the French um, translation, and then the pronunciation, which is very interesting to try and say. So for example, you can see here, hello, miss, bonjour, madame, and then how to pronounce it. And also because technology is always changing, always advancing, there's a lot of good apps out there that you can also download that will help you um, and remind you to practice learning a language every single day. So one that I have used in the past is Duolingo. And Duolingo is, is really interesting because you can learn how to speak a ton of different languages. So you can see here we have Spanish, French, German, Korean, uh, Polish, Hindi, Czech, Welsh, Swahili, Hawaiian, Klingon, Ooh, there's even more. Oh, wow. This has really changed. I used the app probably like five years ago and they've added a lot of languages, so that's great. So let's go up to French and you can see here it has, uh, it breaks it down, which I think is also very interesting because I'm never going to be able to learn a language in I don't know, as long as it takes for me to record this video, if I wanna get serious, if I wanna actually be able to retain what I'm learning, I think it's important to do something like this, an app, or speak with someone who does speak the language to practice, to have someone there to sort of um, just help you out, say, oh, I don't, uh, that doesn't make sense, or I think what you're trying to say is. So Duolingo, I really like that they break it into categories. So first of all, we're starting with basics. And you can see it goes from basics to phrases to plurals to animals to foods. So a little bit of everything before um, you move on. And I also like Duolingo a lot because it applies to the different types of learners. So like I said, I'm very much, I believe like a visual learner, an auditory learner, and this kind of combines all the different types or ways of learning. So here we go here, it says, which of these is a girl? And I love it because they also give graphics when you're first starting out. Remember, this is the basics. So they're gonna help you out a little bit and show you, so that way you have a little bit of confidence in yourself and maybe a bit more of a drive to continue. So which of, which one of these is a girl? Une fille, un garçon, un homme, and une femme. So, une fille. Une fille. Oh, it says it too. Correct. And it's also um, immediate feedback, which is nice, which a lot of people um, like when they're learning something new is like right away you're told um, like, oh, you got it right, you did a good job, and it kind of gives you that like extra boost of confidence as well. Which of these is a boy? Une garçon. Un garçon. See, I like that. I can see the picture, I can see the word, and I'm hearing it. I'm correct. Oui. 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 Don't do that. Um, you'll annoy everyone around you. So translate the sentence, oui. And again, I like it because you see it, you can hear it. That means yes. You are correct. No. 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 I love how, like, you can hear it in this person's voice, like, no. no. <laughs> so, translating, no, I'm going to say no. And check, continue. How do you say boy? This is great. It's, re it's asking you to recall information that we've already learned. So, is it garçon, un, uh, un, or fille? It's garçon. Yes. yes. 
congrats, you're working hard and learning new words. See, and this little owl is so dang cute. It's like, sure, I'll keep Je going. Suis une fille. Je suis une fille. Je suis une fille. And the letters are in orange. I wonder if I tap it. Je suis une fille. Oh, it pronounces its. Oh, and it does give you the definition. I am. Je suis. I am. Une. Une. A. One. An. Fi. Fi. So if you needed a lot of help, you could do this as well and just kind of give yourself a boost. So it's it's I am a girl. Oui, je suis un garçon. Yes. I am a boy. So now it's asking me to speak it into my phone. This is great. I feel like they've really changed this up and it's it's great because I just like the ways I like the different ways they're getting you to learn the language. So speak this sentence. It's non. So I'm gonna record it into my phone. Yes, I'll let them access. Yes. No. It heard, that's cool. Tap the pairs. Garçon. Yes, oui. Oui. No, no. Un. Fille. How do you say I? Je. Oui, je suis une fille. Oui, je suis une fille. Yes. I am a girl. I am David Bruno. <laughs> Great. Oh, and just like Snapchat and stuff does, you can get a streak if that is motivating for you to continue your streak. So it says here, I've done one day. What, what? Lesson complete. You get some points. You're on a one day streak. Okay. So I think what's changed in the program too, it looks like you can, there's now paid content. So maybe to um, advance your learning, they have some more content on here that would require you to pay. However, I'm just gonna use the free stuff. So there you go. You continue the basics and you keep on going. And, and I think as you go, let's just take a quick break. Okay, no, it is different. I was gonna, ooh. you are going to have, um, Things that repeat though. So that is the best way to learn is to constant repetition, constant um, practice, those sorts of things to be able to become more confident in what you're saying. Apps like this, Duolingo, fantastic. If you wanna learn a new language, even if you just wanna learn a little vocabulary of the language, it's so good for your brain to learn new languages that if you're looking for something, maybe just to stimulate you or you're looking to try something new, Try learning a new language. Merci beaucoup de voir, regarder et rester à l'écoute des films de voir si que je fais le prochain vlog.